library return, please yell, not a squirrel, when opening book drop, so we know you're a human and not a squirrel trying to steal Keith's lunch. <laughs> oh, I'm not a squirrel, I promise. What's good everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at Suspiciously and Oddly Specific. Before we get into it, I want to remind you that I stream on Twitch. I'd love to see you all there. Alright, let's get into it. Speed limit 11. Not 10 miles an hour, that's too slow. Oh yeah, well speed limit 11? I got one a little better for you. 8 and 3 quarters mile per hour. Caution, speed ramps. Do not go over 8 and 3 quarters. Me. Beep boop beep my microwave. So you want the bowl to be the temperature of the sun and the food to still be cold in some parts and barely warm in others? Me? No, that's... It is done. We know it's tempting, but please refrain from ODing on fentanyl in the parking lot. <laughs> what the hell happened here? Ah, that's the parking lot to go to. That's the hangout zone. Wizards are prohibited. You know what you did. Goddamn wizards, get them out of here. Spelliamus. Kids these days will never know the hardships of each week having to overcook a fresh hard-boiled egg yolk for the computer mouse. Man, back in my day, kids these days will never understand. When you're clapping some alien cheeks following the Area 51 raid and the alien hits you with the 460 glib glob interstellar gizmatrog and you blow an entire nut. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, the old glib glock 460 interstellar bosmatrog. That is something you will never forget. When the person that was tailgating you swerves around you and tries to run the red light and gets T-boned and ejected from the vehicle. <laughs> ah yes, it happens all the time. Dad, are you winning, son? Me playing Roller Coaster Tycoon and building a roller coaster that launches people into my rival's park and kills them, thereby driving his ratings down because he technically died in his park. <laughs> yes, doing good. Winning the game, thanks, Dad. <laughs> Booty shorts with two QR codes on the ass that lead to a PDF of the Communist Manifesto and a page where you can stream Scooby-Doo. Oh, that's a win right there. As long as you choose the right one. Folks who don't give you a recipe because it's a family secret are very odd. First of all, it's not like your family is living off of these cinnamon rolls. And secondly, you've told me you cheat on your wife before. So, like, is it clove or not? <laughs> oh, no. Give me the damn recipe, fam. Come on now. Let me know your secrets, senpai. I need to know how to make them cinnamon rolls. Mmm. I think my favorite part of every flight is during takeoff when the pilot screams, Bend to my will, Metal Skybird, and take us to the big blueness. And all the passengers chant, Skybird! Skybird! To convince the plane to take off. We need to talk. Is this because you found my half-written book about sexy lizard people who control the world from the shadows? The Illuminati? What? <gasps> what? Him. Sometimes I put my car in neutral at a stoplight and roll back a little so people think I drive a manual. Priest. Once again, weird as hell, but not a sin. Ah, uh, so that's not a sin? See, I told you, Karen. Priest said it's not a sin. Please do not use these tiki torches for any racist crap, you Nazi assholes. They're for barbecues with friends, family, and your neighbor Steve with the lazy eye who kind of creeps everyone out, but he always brings his killer homemade guac, so you deal with his weird vibes because it's easier than learning how to make guacamole. And that Steve does have the good guac, no doubt there. Pet policy, cats and dogs, cats and dogs allowed, no bears allowed. Pet policies can vary depending on the type of pet. Find out if we accept your pets. We don't accept bears. I'm not living there. What the hell is that? Just trying to hang out with my boy Smokey. A girl crying over a breakup. Her friend who's secretly in love with her. Me, with cocaine and a proposal for a threesome. In the Walmart shirt as well. Oh yeah, we're trying to get down in here. <laughs> Me, scrolling through Facebook. Wish ads. Would you like a double-sided dildo that turns into a fork for $2.99? <laughs> uh, yes, please. Can we get a link? Can I get a link to that? Every woman's biggest nightmare is late marriage. Mine is sitting on a toilet and a hidden snake attacks my vagina, but okay. <laughs> oh, oh, can you imagine? <laughs> I, I always fear that a spider is going to like sneakily creep out of there and bite my leg or something. Ooh. My bathroom's downstairs, so I always got these spiders creeping up on me, damn it. Don't get attached to anything between the ages of 18 to 28 because it's basically like puberty 2.0 with more cocaine and booze. Everyone is just trying to find their soulmates high off of their asses with a job they hate and a reasonable healthcare plan. <laughs> you gotta wait till they're ready to commit, am I right? 
clearly there's some critical backstory to the phrase when shit hits the fan that I've been missing because that's way too specific to not be based on a real event. You know it happened. You can just picture it so vividly in your mind. Someone just chucks turd at the fan and it just <laughs> You wanna be far away when shit hits the fan. Isn't it crazy how depending on your mental state, you can either spill a glass of water and be like, haha, oops, clumsy me, or spill a glass of water and be like, my life is a nightmare. I destroy everything I touch. No one will ever love me and my wet floor. Kill me. <laughs> Sometimes it's that one last thread that breaks that just does you in. Apple Music, here's a song for you, Spotify. I've made 75 unique playlists based on your DNA and set to the beat you breathe in. I also wrote you a personalized love song about all the things I like about you. Please don't leave me. What would the kids and I do without you? Please stay. <laughs> oh, I love Spotify, no doubt. Spotify or nothing. Talk about, I use Pandora. Do you even know what Spotify is? Oh, facepalm. That guy looks genuinely distraught. He looks like he just witnessed a blind man use a toaster for a flashlight. Ah, yeah. I would have a more surprised face, but it's kind of a face palm as well. You gotta get it toasty, fam. Toasty! The. Don't you f***ing dare try to make a chain, or I will personally pluck out your toenails, boil them, and force feed them to your mother before your own eyes at 328 on a humid afternoon. First pizza, sausage. Second pizza, Canadian bacon. Second pizza, pineapple. Customer request. Crust a little crisper than normal, but not too crispy. If that's not vague enough, make it like you're taking revenge on a cheating boyfriend, but you still want to reconcile in the not so distant future. Customer request. The gate is tricky, please don't break it, and the spider on the porch is called Frank. Be nice to Frank, he guards the tomatoes. <laughs> Oh, I need to start doing this on my pizza orders. This is just, this is great. Probably made their whole day. Remember when you were young and your sister would have her friends over and you would try to piss loud as f so they thought you had a big dick? <laughs> no. Oh, God. When a customer's order comes out to $16.57 and they hand you $0.57 cents to make their change even, but you're already halfway through counting their change, so you have to switch gears from autopilot to give a f and you realize it's taking you a little too long to do the most basic math calculation and you feel the heat of their eyes and you know they're starting to assume your education level. So you start to down spiral into full blown panic mode. <laughs> Damn, let me know in the comments if you relate to that one. The state is not really reopening. It's more like you left your favorite hoodie at an ex-girlfriend's place and she said you can come get it. But you remember how batch crazy she is? So you could get hurt, but it's a really cool hoodie and you're kind of chilly. Is it worth getting cut with a piece of broken mirror she punched? Your call, you're grown. <laughs> That is unfortunate. Y'all shame vanilla sex all the time on here, but it's amazing when both people enjoy it. It's not my fault you gotta have your leg in a bear trap and get punched in the face to come. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> oh my hell. The desensitization. Listen, I'm not trying to kink shame anyone here, but damn. <laughs> Imagine getting in a cab, blacked out, trying to make it home, and you wake up with $3,000 in your pocket. You panic because you don't know how you got the money. Ten months later, you're watching TV and see your drunk ass getting in the back of a cash cab and nailing all the questions. <laughs> Alright, now that's awesome. That is epic. Ask Reddit, what is always a bad idea? Accidentally running your neighbor's dog over with a quad bike and is forced to bury it in the woods because you can't afford to pay for it. But when you get to the woods, you realize that you forgot a shovel, so you leave the dog and get a shovel, but when you get back, the dog is gone, and you never speak about it to anyone until you are very drunk at a party and tell your friend who tells the neighbor so they don't talk to you anymore. Oh no, what did you do? What did you do to the poor doggo? Yeah, I wouldn't talk to him either, to be honest. <laughs> Boys are so tough until they're in the passenger seat of your car and then it's squirming around and grabbing the edge of their seat yelling, Jesus Christ, Grace, there's a f***ing truck, please, Grace. <laughs> uh, maybe you should let them drive next time. Why are you in the bathroom? I don't know. I'm bare ass naked, writing plans to conquer Britain while drinking rum and snorting cocaine. The f*** you think I'm doing? I'm taking a sh When I was four, my sister was two. I am now 44. How old is my sister? 
Oof, this is a tough one. She might be 42, but she could be 41 or 43 also, since you don't say when your birthday is and her birthday is. Also, she could be dead. Finally, you might have thought she was your sister, but actually your mom had an affair with another man, and the woman who is one to three younger than you is not actually your sister. But your mom may have given away your real sister for adoption, in which case she's probably older than you. See why it's tough? Finally, what if you think your sister is dead, but she actually has become an astronaut on a secret government project for near light speed travel? Then your sister would be aging more slowly than you, so she could potentially be even younger than 41. <laughs> Damn, Samuel. Mr. Samuel Lipoff studied at Harvard University. This dude's got it all figured out. Where can I buy a frog? Not for sexual reasons, question mark. I'm in the market for a frog, but don't know what kind or where I want to get a frog from. I would like the frog, not for sexual reasons, to be blue. Any information is helpful. And thanks in advance for the people who helped me on my journey to acquiring my dream pet. Smiley face. I assure you, this is not for sexual reasons. <laughs> okay, bud. All right, everyone, and that's going to do it for this episode on Suspiciously and Oddly Specific. Like that smash button if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to follow on Twitch. All right, love your faces, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.